Hello and welcome to the project on forest fire prediction using machine learning. In this project, we will build a machine learning model that predicts the confidence of forest fire happening with the given data and input. Now, let's move forward. So, what does this project entails? Forest, bush or vegetation fire can be described as any uncontrolled and non-prescribed combustion or burning of plants in a natural setting such as a forest, grassland, etc. In this project, we are not determining if a forest fire will take place or not. We are just predicting the confidence of forest fires happening. So, what I mean is that the likelihood of it being a forest fire is what we are trying to determine. It might look similar, but it is not. If I started predicting true or false for the forest fire happening, that means it is either 100% or 0% that the forest fire will take place. I would say there's 80% confidence that the forest fire might happen. It means that there is a likelihood of probability of 80% that the forest fire will take place, given with the specific data for that forest fire. So moving forward. Now, we see the details of the project. The project is divided into three parts. First, building a machine learning model to predict forest fire confidence. Second, we build a web Django to mount this prediction model. And lastly, we deploy this Django project on Heroku through GitHub. Next is our machine learning model. We start off with building a machine learning model using random forest regression model and train the model using the data that we have. For this project, we will also see the random search CV in action and how we have implemented it. In brief, random search CV is designed to find the best parameters to improve the model. The search is randomized and all other parameters are held constant. While the parameters we have defined are tested as variables. It means that let's have seven parameters and you have set four of them to have a constant value and the rest three are set to be variables having some range of values. So the model random search CV, what it will do is, it will just use those ranges or the three parameters and choose the one for which the model works best. Moving forward, we have Django web application. This is the second part of the course where we will build the web application using the framework Django. We mount the model which we have built in the previous part on this Django project. And the last one is deploying on Heroku, where we will deploy Django application on Heroku using connections to GitHub. So let's start building the machine learning model. 